first tonight, non-urgent operations are being cancelled in Leicestershire because of the COVID crisis. It's in the wake of increasing infection rates and part of a push to control a second wave of the pandemic in time for Christmas. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is here. Jeremy, just how much pressure are these hospitals under? Oh, huge pressure, Sarah. We've just had this statement from Leicestershire's clinical commissioning groups. Now, that says Leicester's hospitals are treating 260 people with coronavirus tonight. Many need intensive care, and that is significantly higher than the spring peak of 204. So now they're only focusing on urgent care and vaccination programmes. We're told that includes cancer treatment, but many other other operations in Leicestershire have now been cancelled. And this is the latest twist in what the Prime Minister described as like a game of whack-a-mole. A month ago we were talking about a different surge in infections in Nottingham, but the data is changing rapidly. The latest test results give a picture of how these hotspots are constantly shifting. There are nine districts with case rates which are more than double the national average. All around Leicester and Derby, Opium Wigston is still the highest. Next on the list, these areas have relatively high COVID rates. Places like Erewash, Mansfield and Harborough. But you can see there are lower numbers here in Greater Nottingham, in Newark and Derbyshire Dales. Rutland, though, the only area with a COVID rate below the national average. And the big question now, are things moving in the right direction? Here's the answer, a pretty mixed picture. Detected COVID infections still rising across much of Leicestershire, but better news elsewhere. Numbers now coming down around Derby, Nottingham and many coalfield areas. A sign perhaps that this latest lockdown is starting to work. And positive signs that everyone desperately wants to hear, Jeremy, but is it enough to save Christmas? That's the big hope, of mm. course. Turning those red areas green, though, is only just the start. We've had a warning tonight from Leicestershire's public health director, Mike Sands, who says local case rates need to halve in the last two weeks of lockdown to avoid going back into those tier two or even tier three restrictions. But we've also heard today that restrictions might be relaxed over Christmas. We're told ministers are now looking at how to make the holiday as close to normal as possible. In reality, how might that actually work? What will it look like? Now, I suspect there's a furious debate about that going on behind closed doors at the moment. I think, though, uh, it, it could allow us perhaps to have family gatherings at least for a few days. What they'll be worried about is that leading to another surge. So they'll be talking about how many people can meet together, perhaps how, how long these rules are relaxed for as well. And, and actually, if you're interested in finding out about those COVID rates where you live, there's a lot more information online. Just search for coronavirus.data.gov.uk.